Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. I'm still out here in Florida, Sunshine State, going at it, looking at the cars. This is one of the main sublots that they have. I do want to head over to the other sublot, but they're still booming over here. They're actually open late from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. They are hustling, trying to get these cars in, trying to get them out. Over 500 appointments they made for cars to come in. They are definitely staying busy, but hey, while they're still open, I might as well check out some more vehicles, you know, see what else they have going on while I'm down here. My plan is to go to the other sub lot. I'm gonna get a hotel probably around there. I still have my rental car, still have some time over here, so I might as well keep going. I wanna check out the heavies, the campers, the big trucks, all the big old loaders, so that'd be nice. But let's just check out what they have over here for now and then head over to the hotel close to the other sub lot. Searching, searching, searching. Let's find the good ones. So many cars. You can just kind of smell the mold in the air. A lot of these cars have been flooded severely and are definitely just parts cars. Like I said, it's all about research. You can't really just go and walk the yard because some of these, most of them are destruction title and not run and drive. So a lot of these are gonna be rough. Basically, these are for the junkyards, scrap yards, parts cars, but it'd be nice to walk around and maybe find a good one. Ooh, look at that. So this beautiful 2019 Ford F-150 is a upcoming loss. So it's not on sale just yet, but also flooded out. It is not a run and drive, so water probably got into the engine, but man, lifted, rough country steps on it, nice wheels, fuel wheels on it. Pretty beautiful, nice F-150 for sure. Everybody loves an F-150, and this is definitely a nice package. I mean, it's got the sensors in the taillights. Those things are super expensive. Water line's pretty high, dang. Be nice to see how much this thing goes for. I'm sure it's still gonna go pretty high because it is a Lariat. I mean, nice package. Check out that extra step on the side. Wow, let's see the inside. Ooh, you can smell the mold already starting. So this one definitely has a high water line and that is true. Even though it's lifted up, the water still got inside. <coughs> wow, guys, like it's hard to even, the wind's blowing right at my face. You can see all the mold in the chair. Good parts car. Pass for us. Not something we're looking to get right now. But hey, a lot of solid parts still on it. Sharp looking truck. All right guys, just for kicks and giggles, this is a 2022 Ford Bronco. I'm not gonna show the lot number because it's already sold, so I can't really mess with it. I'm not gonna touch it, but it's interesting to see how much this thing went for. So it is a certificate of destruction, meaning you can't register it. This is definitely a parts car. So let's go ahead and use AutoStat and see how much this thing sold for. It probably played today or yesterday. It's probably a recent sale. But with AutoStat, you can check it out how much it went for right away. So this 2022 Bronco base is not a run and drive. Pretty high water line. So water definitely got in there. There's corrosion. It's not an engine start. Could be a bad motor. And it sold for 16700 so that's pretty crazy. I mean, it's worth 65,000, so definitely, you know, a good price off. Overall, the body's in good shape, but that's how much they go for. Wow, good to know. Let's keep looking. Am I ever gonna find myself a Jeep, guys? There are plenty out there. 
but unfortunately they're usually a little rougher than I want or already too high, sold. I mean, check out this water line. Wow, it is definitely rough inside. I'm not even gonna open the door because I know that it's molded up in there, bunch of junk, very high water line. So that one is definitely a pass. This one has a pretty low water line, but no miles, probably no keys. Let's see inside. Strong smell, you can see mold already. Definitely a pass. It looks good on the outside, but it's the inside that counts when it comes to flooded cars. Just endless rows and cars. European, American, doesn't matter. Japanese, all sorts of cars. Man, water in the headlights, you know it's bad. Water line is somewhere up here, about four or five feet. That's what four or five feet of water line looks like, guys, on the inside. Caked in mud. Dang. Good parts cars. I love me F-150. But not when the water line is up to your chest. Dang. And surprisingly, these will still go pretty high dollar. Super high water line, but parts are expensive. You could salvage a lot off it, I guess. You got doors, hood, all the body panels, and sensors, maybe if they didn't get corroded. But that's also a lot of work and a whole different ball game that we're not involved in. Oh wow, look at that, guys. We got a Cyril's uh, Super Car row right there. Let's check out the VIN numbers. So we have a 2022 Ferrari F8 Spider. Man, this thing is brand new. Not a run and drive, upcoming lot, future sale. Dang, beautiful. I'm surprised it's not inside the warehouse. Fairly low water line, but I guess that's about halfway up the door, even though I have to crouch to get to it. So water definitely got inside of this one for sure. Cause that's, like I said, halfway up the door. I don't know how sealed these things are, if they're prone to get water inside the engine. Cause I know some of the turbo ones are, but I mean, this thing's a uh, eight cylinder, so who knows? Little smiley face right there, nice. Beautiful car. Love the color. State Farm is selling this one, it is insurance, but they're still working through the title work, so it's not on sale yet. Keep going. To the next supercar. There's Bentley right here, very interesting color. It's like a bronze. It's beautiful. Nice rims, looks like it's lowered, probably the airbag system, drop down. Wow. Some beautiful cars. So this 2022 Bentley Continental has got the same story. Basically it's not on sale yet, it's a future sale. Waterline is halfway up the door. Dang. I'm sure it's got great parts and maybe somebody will restore it, put it back in the road. But it might end up being a parts car. Lamborghini red. Oh yeah. Water line is above the door onto the glass. Wow. So sad. You can tell the salt water is already just eating up on it. Oh, that just dust. Just kidding, guys. But yeah, it's definitely dusty. Let's see if we can check out the inside. So this does have a certificate of destruction, so you're not gonna be able to register, put it back in the road. I mean, I don't know how to do that, so definitely a parts car. If you could tell the interior picks, just mold growing on everything. Sorry guys, just it out, yeah. So it is definitely done for. But hey, if you wanna fix yourself a 2018 Lamborghini Huracan, this is a great parts car, future sale. The body looks in great condition. Beautiful, again, such a sad story to see it salvaged out like that. But supercar after supercar, just keep going down the line. I mean, these are basically pretty bad, probably why they're outside. 
the other ones probably didn't get such a high water line, but these are pretty bad. Probably certificate of destruction for all of them. Dang. Water line. Bright blue Ferrari. Also beautiful. Man, Florida's got a lot of supercars, I tell you what. Dang. We are pretty close to Miami, so. Yeah, it's probably where they came from, but I'm pretty sure this one's also a salvage, I mean, destruction title, so not even a salvage, just straight destruction. Dang. This is the final one. We got ourselves a nice Chrysler van. Oh yeah, that's the one starting the pack of this line. Also, big old water line. Got flooded out. Dang. Look at that grill. Took a hit. So in case you were wondering what's happening here in Florida, this is it guys. We've got rows and rows of flooded vehicles. I mean, we knew it was coming, but it's just so unfortunate that it's salt water because that stuff is just so corrosive. So if the water did get in there, and a no miles, no bueno. I mean, from Ferraris to Porsches to BMWs. Wow, Mercedes, Corvettes all sorts of good ones but i want to say they're gems because they're probably part cars so even though there's 20,000 plus vehicles for sale there's still so many that don't have titles that are future sale that we don't even know what's going to happen if they're going to be a parts only destruction salvage so a lot of that is up to the insurance auction i guess i'm not sure how it works every state has a little different system some states if they do a state of emergency they automatically make them all destruction title some of them try to recycle them and get the cars back on the road depending on the insurance so it's very you know either this way or that way depending on a lot of factors so there's a 2018 Acura MDX funny story about five years ago when Texas was flooded we actually bought my mom a Acura MDX and she's still driving it today same story flooded um, yeah, but she has had no problems with it. She loves it. So there's some good ones out there. People are saying you're gonna have issues, you know, a couple months down the road. It just depends how bad they were flooded. If they were flooded a good bit and you just cleaned it up and tried to drive it, yeah, they're gonna go down. But if you properly take it apart, there's no water inside, you can get yourself a good one. I mean, hers was literally dirty. We just cleaned it and it was good to go. No water actually got inside. It was kind of dusty. So there are some good ones. There are a lot of bad ones. Landmine and gold mine. Sun is setting here in beautiful Florida, but we're still out here, still going at it. Might as well while we still have some daylight. So this 2017 Camaro RS actually sold today as well, and it went for 7,400, which isn't bad, but it's not a run and drive, and it has a destruction title. So this is a parts only, and it went for close to eight grand, probably eight and a half after fees. Just to keep in mind how much they're going for. This 2020 Chevy Silverado 2500, the water line that is basically four or five feet up high with damage all around it, went for 17,600 as the final bid. So this thing's close to 18 grand. Dang, people got money. I mean, definitely a lot of parts still hidden here, the engine itself, but it's a risk. We got lights turning on, it's getting dark. No big deal, we're still going at it. Hey, they're open, we might as well check out some cars. Got a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Pretty cool, definitely a classic looking. Also a future sale. Looks like you got some water inside. You can see sand in there. So, got flooded, but I'm sure there's not that many electronics. But that salt water will start eating out the bearings inside, the shocks. It's pretty bad. If you get salt water on there, you gotta wash it off for sure because it can start eating through the metal. But man, this thing is definitely sharp looking. Very clean. Water line's pretty high, three feet, I would say. Yep, not bad. So we've seen the good, we've seen the expensive. Let's just see the bad. Basically the ones that have got a lot of water inside and what happens to cars once they get salt water inside. This is a future sale. looks fine but 
the smell right away and you can see spots of mold growing. So water has been in there, staying in there, and I'm pretty sure if you take the carpets out, there's still water underneath. Very strong smell as well. But not compared to this water line. Dang guys, check it out. It's hard to see what's going on inside, but this thing definitely got submerged, became a submarine. Kind of reminds me of our other truck that we had that was pulled out of the water. Dang. Can't even open the door, that's fine. You get the idea. Wow, it's pretty bad. Got a beautiful Mustang Shelby right here. Dang, looks sick. But unfortunately, I can't get the lot number to pull up, so just gonna have to let it go. Keep searching. It's just so much here, nonstop. Wow. All right, walking around, actually found one that is for sale. This 2017 Audi A5. I actually bought it, flooded Audi before, and it was actually really nice. But this one seems like it definitely got water inside. So a super flooded Audi, I don't think it's gonna be nice because it's all electronics. I mean, trying to get these seats out without power, with locked up motors is gonna be a nightmare. So definitely a good parts car. Not something I'd mess with right now, even if you get it pretty cheap. Like I said, it'd be just good for parts. As you could tell, you would have to just drill those out or try to grind that off to get it out. Inside, got covered. This was a nice car, and now it's just a parts car. But this one does have a title, so it's not a certificate of destruction. If you do fix it, you could actually legally drive it back on the road once you get inspected. Every state is different. In the state of South Carolina, you do not need to get inspected to drive a salvage vehicle. You could drive a salvage vehicle on the road without an inspection. We actually have no yearly inspection, so every state is different. So if you buy it, your state rules apply, that sort of thing. Wow. Man, this beautiful Mercedes 2021 Benz 450. Pure sale. It's a future sale, but it is on sale. Unfortunately, certificate of destruction, meaning that you can't get it registered and it's a good parts car. Water line is pretty high. It seems like they've been putting tape on there and then writing on there. I've seen it done different ways. Wow, this interior is beautiful. Smells a little bit, and you can tell the corrosion's already starting. The mold inside the seats. Definitely not healthy. And a flooded Mercedes is gonna be rough. Surprisingly, it's still probably gonna go for a lot. Because parts are expensive, body panels. I mean, it's, there's still a lot of good pieces on it. So, frames themselves. Good for junkyards. Wow, it was just strange to be in a Copar yard when the sun is down. Usually they're closed by five, but like I said, due to the high volume, they are up, they are going. The lights are on, staying busy. Why not? All right, guys, so we got this 2016 Ford Mustang. It just sold today, but I'm kind of worried because check out this flood line. Also really high. It's not a run and drive. It does have a rebuildable title, so it's not a destruction title, but it's not even a GT. And this thing sold for seven grand, so probably seven, eight, close to eight thousand dollars bringing it home. Eight and a half after shipping. Man, I would say that's still pretty expensive due to the fact that you basically just have parts unless you can get it going. I don't really want to go inside because it's sold already, but dang, because I'm kind of want that white one, so it gives me an idea how much they're going for. Hopefully I'll be able to pick it up and drive that white one home, that GT. We'll see. Just walk in the yard, you got your regular cars, and then you turn to your left and boom, Ferrari. Dang. Also flooded pretty good. I mean, I don't know how many Ferraris I've seen already. That's just crazy, guys. This thing looks amazing as well. It's just like every other car here though. That's crazy. Wow, flooded out though. F-150, not bad. Maybe we got a winner. But like I said, it's gotta meet the criteria. It has to have a title, has to run. 
And with that water line, I doubt it. Dang. Keep going. Official pace car, Indy 500. Pretty cool, but also flooded out. Dang. All right, guys, so it is definitely getting late. It's still such a beautiful sunset behind me, but it's hard to even see the cars. I mean, if you're in the dark, man, it's been a long day. Got up like three, four in the morning, flew right over here, been here all day looking at these cars. But hey, adventure doesn't stop. Like I said, I'm gonna go get a hotel near the other sub lot, hopefully check out some heavies tomorrow. Wow, a lot. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. That's all the time we have for today. Catch you in the morning.